Hey guys, what is up? It is your friendly neighborhood Ubugus here, back again with another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth video. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, well, let's see here. Uh, let's do Kane and go Dark Room. How about that? That sounds not fun at all, but I gotta do it at some point because of this post a note bug. Gotta fix it, you know? Nah, I'm saying. Alright, Deadeye is honestly a great pickup immediately. Uh, I'm very happy about that one. Not so happy about this room, however. But I'm sure I'll, I'll survive. I sure hope I'll survive. How about that? Let's rephrase that a little bit. Oh, what? Alright. My, I swear to God, my keyboard just fucked up royally there. That was bizarre. Everything was, like, delayed by an extra half second. I don't know what's going on, man. That was horseshit. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try to say that I fucked up there. That was not me at all. Also, Kane, you gotta be able to shoot poops that you're shooting directly at, bud. Alright, two rooms in a row of the headless walkers. I don't know what these guys are called. I don't know a lot of enemy names, to be honest. There's just a, an immense amount of enemies in the game. It's hard to know them all. Oh, fuck. No, dude. No, man. Alright. Alright, there we go. We're... We're in business. We're cooking with gas. Also, the flies are loud. Holy shit. I missed one shot. I only had one shot. And I missed my chance or something. Whatever the... You know. I love how I missed a shot, I hit a shot. And after the hitting of a shot is when it goes off. Yeah, okay. Classic that I... <laughs> The only consistency I know to Deadeye is that if you never miss a shot, then it'll continue to count upwards in, in damage numbers. That's it. That's all I understand. But unfortunately, never missing is not really uh, the best of options. Right, that was the item room. I'm like so fucking confused, man. My brain is in a weird spot today and yesterday. Just generally in a weird spot. It's not great. Uh, you know what is great, though? <laughs> so, you know how in the daily, two days ago, I was talking about um, the GDQ drama? That was just hilarious to me. Well, it got better. It's shocking, I know. It got better. Um, so what happened was, apparently, the the Games Done Quick LLC uh, was not renewed <laughs> for a year. <laughs> so... Technically, it was entirely up for grabs for a year. And the best part about that is somebody registered it. And uh, basically what happened was damage control went into effect. Full-fledged full damage control. And um, the claim was then made that that wasn't the same LLC. And then they still wanted to talk to the person. Um, and... Yes, it wasn't the same LLC. The one that GDQs were using, I believe, had a comma in it, or it was the other way around. One of them had a comma, the other didn't. So that was the entire difference, which technically does mean they're different. However, also, they cannot both exist simultaneously uh, because they're too similar. You can't register one if the other is there, basically. So... Uh, what that means is this person basically had GDQ by the balls because for some reason they hadn't uh, re-registered. And I apologize if I have any of the information incorrect. I'm not a lawyer. So this is just what I've picked up on from like hundreds of people discussing the issue over a couple hours. And all the various conclusions that have been reached. Um, so I apologize if I've, I'm misrepresenting any part of it. But uh, I am certain that you can't make... You, you can't register one if the other is there, without with or without the comma. Uh, I am certain that the one GDQ was using was not registered. Uh, and I am certain that the guy who registered to essentially teach GDQs a lesson and be very nice about it, uh, and actually willing to give it back, but just use it as an example to be like, yo, alright guys, you're clearly not on top of everything like you consistently claim to be. Um, he was very, very kind about it. He didn't, he wasn't holding it for malicious intent or anything. 
Uh, turns out he's getting a lifetime ban from GDQs. <laughs> Unless he formally apologizes. So basically, what I'm trying to say is GDQs have gone pretty... pretty quickly to shit uh, since Michael Yama got sick. Which is pretty sad, because they were great. I mean, they've always had issues, but this is pretty fucking miraculous, if you ask me. This is like a whole new fucking level. Um... So, yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is <laughs> I'm likely done with GDQs, man. Now, oh fuck, no, oh Jesus. Now, if there was, uh, if there, what am I saying? Uh, 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 I'm likely done with GDQs if there, I don't remember what I was saying. Doesn't matter. Basically, I'm done with GDQs. Um, probably. Because the problem is... I mean, I haven't been able to go to the last couple, uh, and I wouldn't be able to go to this one due to money constraints, but honestly, I'm, I'm not too upset about it. I'm not, like, as upset as I, I was the first one that I missed. Um, simply because it's really not a big deal at this point, because they really, I don't know. The last one I went to, SGDQ uh, 20, 2014, I guess, um, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way in a few ways. Um, Nothing like major, just a lot of a lot of tiny things just kind of added up, compiled on top of each other, and uh, made it not the most enjoyable experience overall as a as a runner for the event. Um, and then like both GDQ since then, uh, and obviously this one, this next one coming up, all of them have just been completely coded in this variety of drama which is I don't know man like it shouldn't be that hard to just hire people who can do their jobs and to not fucking ignore mistakes you know but every time a mistake happens every every time light is shown on a mistake you want to know what happens it's brushed under the rug just right under the rug every time there's some, there's some excuse, there's some scapegoat, and then that's it, and then it's gone, and then as far as they care, it doesn't exist anymore. For example, the issue of uh, the uh, Game Stun Quick monitor, which is a shit meme, anyway, um, that tweeting out important information for runners, yet certain runners are blocked from that account, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, that, that's a great one. And, like, that's being discussed in this this thread on SDA where it's, like, an open letter to the speedrun community or whatever. And, like, you know, that's great. They, they want to they wanna have some communication. The issue is brought up, right? And then it's like, okay, we'll think about it. And then it's just gone. And then nobody else, somebody else tried to say something different but still pertaining to a similar issue. And then instead of being like... Well, Thank you so much for your input. The the answer is, oh, see, I, oh, whoops, the tweet didn't go through. That's why it, that specific situation happened. Whoops. All right, I'll fix it next time. You know, it's never like, we fucked up. Thanks for the input, you know? Because that would be too hard. <laughs> it's just baffling to me. It's so crazy how you can just not admit mistakes. Just be like, yo, we fucked up. We'll try better next time, you know? If this, if this sullied your, your taste of GDQs, then I apologize wholeheartedly. That's my bad. And I hope that you'll reconsider. But you know what, man? That's cool, too. If you want to be done with GDQs because of this, I respect that. Because you know what? I'm not a child. <laughs> you know? That would be great! That'd be perfect! That's all people are wanting. But instead, it's just like, oh, whoops! It's, no, see, it was this other thing! Like, holy fuck, guys. Just grow up already. I don't get it. And it, like, I feel kind of bad because the main person saying these things is a person that I, I, uh, actually liked at GDQs. Um, but holy shit, man, he's doing a horrible job of PR. And that's why they need to hire somebody who can do PR. Because there's, there's employees of GDQs. They exist, they get paid, you know. But they're not, they're not the people who do the job normally you know they just happened into it because they have connections right 
they don't they don't know what they're doing. They're just doing, you know. I would like this to give me anything. Please. You know what that'll do? I was I was a bit upset, but inner eye is good. Inner eye is definitely good. Uh, I can no longer buy anything from the shop, but that's okay. But yeah, if you're gonna be part of a company, if you're hired for a certain thing in a company, you know, do that thing in the company and do it well. That's that's it. I don't know. It's it's just dumb. Oh, I don't like that. Oh god. Wow. All right. Cause yeah, like so many, so many people. There's so many mistakes that could have been solved if actual people who did the job that they have, not people who do the, you know, like for example, every single event has audio issues. Every one of them. I have not been to a GDQ yet, or seen any GDQ at all, any GDQ related thing that hasn't had audio issues. Right? That's just a consistent theme. Why not hire somebody? who does audio for events as their job. <laughs> Novel idea, I know, it's insane to think about. That's just, it's, it boggles the mind, I, I know. But, oh god, I just don't, I don't get it, man. The business decisions are just bad. That's basically my point. All of this drama could be solved just by hiring the right people. <laughs> but that would require them to admit mistake. And that's obviously not the GDQ way. So anyway, drama. Uh, <laughs> and the worst part about it is, like, they don't... It, it's so baffling, because every time that something like this happens, every single time that, quote, drama happens, and it makes GDQs look bad, Every single time it happens, right? Instead of being like, man, there sure are lots of speedrunners, people who have who partake in these events, who are unhappy with the ongoings. We'd better talk to them and say, hey, you know, what's what's going on? What what are you? What's your what's your problem? You know, can we help? But instead, they go, oh, all these people with their pointless drama. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but I'd say if it's a fairly unanimous collection of uh, people who are part of the community that your marathon is a part of, if a very large group of them, um, nearly unanimous in this, in this circumstance, is speaking out against certain ongoings of the event itself, maybe, stay with me here, maybe... There's a problem with the event. Mm, I know, I know. It's weird. It's just, it's a weird concept. It's very, very, uh, very far away from what you'd expect, you know? Maybe it's not just you, people perpetuating useless drama. Maybe, in fact, there are problems that could be solved and should be solved. But nah, it's just people trying to start drama, you know? That's all it is. Just haters. That's why I hate the mentality of it. it's like, you know, F the haters. That's like the most cop-outish way to see anything. Like, how is that not just a default cop-out? It is such a cop-out. Because all you're doing, right, all you're doing is saying anybody who disagrees with me is a hater. Basically, that's all you're saying, right? As if nobody could be disagreeing with you because of reasons, it has to be because they're petty and they're a hater. <laughs> no, I mean, like, if, if somebody dislikes the way I do things, I'll be like, dang, man, I'm sorry you see it that way. Here, I'll explain my thought process. If you still disagree, see, I guess. Or in, you know, if they are just a hater. A hater is somebody who just does nothing but, like, spam bullshit, right? Like, somebody saying, 
hey, maybe GDQs, uh, maybe it would be much better for GDQs to have all th all important messages to runners tweeted out by the Game Stung Quick account rather than the stupid meme monitor account. That's not being a hater, right? That's that's a legitimate criticism. Being a hater would be like, fuck GDQs, Uyama's a Nazi, right? Like that's being a hater, <laughs> right? There's a very distinct difference between the two. Yet for some reason people hear the term hater and then that's just the perfect scapegoat for everything. You know, that's just such a perfect idea for them to be like, well, I mean, you know, they're just haters. And I just hate it. I am a hater towards that idea <laughs> that every everybody who disagrees has to be a hater. And like, here's the thing too, right? Uh, that people seem to not fully grasp. You can block people on social media. I know. Yeah, you can do it. It's crazy. So if they are haters, you just you hit the, that button. And you want to know what happens? They vanish. They're gone. It's as if they don't exist anymore. Also, if you're blocked, don't be upset that you're blocked. Because all they did was hit a button. They're not plotting against you. They just hit a button. That's all that happened. There's no there's no deeper meaning, you know? That's the other thing that pisses me off so oh god. So much about uh speedrunning community. Like every time that a speedrunner blocks another speedrunner, for some reason, it has to be. Sorry, Trey taking a drink of water. Um Every time a speedrunner speed blocks another speedrunner, instead of it maybe just being that they, they dislike the person, it has to be like, a crime against nature! How, how could you block somebody? And I, I'll agree, there are very petty reasons to block people. But, you know, whatever, man. <laughs> it's social goddamn media, it's not the fucking court of law. Like, I had some shitter who, uh, more or less, like, I don't know how to describe it. Basically, he came into my stream chat once and just started, like, spouting random bullshit. That was very obnoxious, and I asked him to stop, and then he just never stopped. Uh, and then on Twitter, like, yesterday, and then, you know, I blocked him on Twitter, like, fucking a year and a half ago, maybe. Probably longer. But I blocked him forever ago. And then, like, <laughs> uh, less than a month ago, he tweeted, and it's like, Why does Ubergoose have me blocked? I haven't even ever talked to the guy. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. I don't, I don't give a shit, you know? He's just starting to, uh, trying to start shit. I don't care. I, I still have no idea what this does. Extended stat effect time. Okay, well, that's probably what it does, then. <laughs> Whatever that means. This is steps two. I haven't been to my sh uh, item room. Not shop. Item room. But yeah, like, for some reason it has to be like a, a community-wide event when somebody is blocked on Twitter. Makes no sense to me. Absolutely none. No sense at all. Oh well. Alright. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, dark room. Be smart. Oh my good god. These are both incredible, right? So we'll take the two... Actually, it was kind of irrelevant, right? Whichever one I took, it didn't matter at all. But I took, I took them both. That's what matters. I have them both. And what do we have here? Um, I think I think I can fight boss rush just fine. It's a question of which item I want. Um, hmm. I, if you're wondering what I'm thinking of, it's host hat or guillotine. Guillotine's kind of weird. 
Uh, I think I'm just going to take host hat. So the reason that I was I was thinking um, guillotine and why I'm saying guillotine is kind of weird is because guillotine gives, I believe it gives a tier to lay down. It's been a long time since I've actually like looked up what guillotine does. I remember at some point being like, guillotine sucks, and then I looked up the stats and I was like, alright, guillotine's actually pretty good. I don't know. If you can get over the, the clear negatives of guillotine, it's probably a pretty good item. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was. I, it's definitely a 1.0 damage up, which is really good. Also, host hat happens to like absorb tears occasionally. I don't know exactly what the deal is with that, but that's what I've noticed. Um, goodbye, the stain. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, the fallen. So yeah, this is why, by the way, um, my <laughs> my double bodies of doom triple now. Uh, that's exactly why I was thinking, yeah, I'll do boss rush, no problem. Because they do immense damage. They're absolutely insane if they actually, you know, hit the enemy. Hit, hit the enemy? There you go. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, damn it. I actually got hit. That makes me upset. Holy shit! This is insane! <laughs> go! Good job, bodies. <laughs> oh my god. They're tearing it up, dude! Okay. I don't like you, War. I feel okay, though. I feel like this, this run's gonna go well. Um... <laughs> Am I gonna beat Darkroom? I don't know, actually. To be honest with you, I'm a little, I'm a little spooked because of the lack of HP restoring items I have. Uh, I really, I have nothing that actually helps me survival-wise. Oh, that was it. Okay. I'll take Eve's mascara. How did I get three charges after it? Oh, that was weird. Like I should have one. But I don't know why three. All right, I despise this. What the fuck, man? What the hell? Insanity. Thank you for the spirit hearts. All right, this is this is spooky. I'm I'm certain that this is spooky. That is what I'm certain of. What I'm not so certain of is, are we gonna win? <laughs> That's, it's it's very up in the air at this point. Cause, I'm powerful, certainly. Um, it's a matter of, am I powerful enough? And that is the answer that I do not have. All right. Oh, that's that's real good actually all of that actually is really really good cool oh my god what do you give on this floor oh that's right double boss items whoo 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 yee all right oh boy it's not a good Mickey Mouse I, I understand So Binky's great. Binky uh, is a tears up, and that's it, I guess. No, it gives a spirit art as well. One spirit art? Yeah, I think one. Point is tears up, spirit art. Good. <laughs> it's a baby squeezy. That's it. That's the way I see it. And I think I think if you look at it that way, it's pretty good. Okay. Okay. There we go. And spun. Woo! Infested. I like the look on Isaac's face with these items. 
and by Isaac, I mean Kane. Dude, I'm a baby pirate who's just horrified at the current ongoings. And I also happen to have a skull on my head. I guess that that's a fairly piratey thing to do, right? Skull on your head? It's gotta be, right? Sounds piratey to me. This is... this is not cool, alright? This is... alright. Excessively uncool, game. Excessively uncool. I really... that was... wow, okay. Uh... So, I will say, Cursed Eye is honestly not that bad of an item. It's not a good item. Well, it can be a good item. It depends. I, I'm of the opinion that the item has potential based on your build, but on average is not good. Um, I know people who disagree, and I actually think Cursed Eye is a quite good item. Uh, and I, I, as far as I understand, they did make it so you can remove the Cursed Eye curse with a black candle. Um, which I do not have, so I cannot do that. Uh, but, if, if, you know, Cursed Eye is in your item room, and Black Candle is in your shop, and you can afford the Black Candle, yeah, I mean, sure, why not? You know, I mean, there's, there's literally no downside, right? So why not? Um, but obviously, the, the downside of Cursed Eye is that if you get hit while charging, you get teleported randomly on the floor. And that is bad for business. It's not that I expect to get hit, but I kind of do. I, I do expect to take some amount of hits over the course of a run, right? That's definitely true. Even as the lost, you know. The only time that you'll take no hits in an entire run is if you're the lost and you don't have a survival item. So basically never. <laughs> Especially, you know, never now. Because you always start with Holy Mantle, which is perfect. Um... But yeah, I expect to get hit some amount of times over the course of a run. So I don't like the idea of... Uh, basically, like, having an item that is bad if you get hit. Or an item... Pretty much any item that depends on you getting hit. How about that? Those are just bad, in my opinion. And I don't think that's an unreasonable opinion. In fact, I think that's a fairly common one. Um, but one thing I do like is that Cursed Eye is now in red chests. That is a cool change. <clears throat> and the reason I, I, I like that change so much is because it's, it, it makes sense, to me at least, you know? It feels like it should be a red chest item. Because red chests are like the, not the ultimate risk reward, but they're, they're risk reward, right? The whole point of red chests is like, it could be a good item, or... It could be spiders, you know, or troll bombs, right? So it is a very good example of risk reward. So it makes sense that um, it has a less than stellar item, but can still also be kind of. The thing is, it's it is risk reward. The her stock. So, I think, uh, I think it, it just works. I think it just fits. Alright. Let's see how we do. Hey, you're here again, apparently. Yeah, no thanks. So, I think this might be actually a run where Cursed Eye is good. Huh. Well, at least Kane was reunited with his other eye. This might be a Cursed Eye-worthy run, but I still despise the item. I really do. I always forget what this does. That's right. Oh! Oh! I understand it entirely now. That's cool, actually. That's a cool pill. See, the thing is, I... Or not pill, but, you know, Q. I've always, I think every time that I've actually used it, it's been in boss rooms. So I, I guess I never actually knew what it did. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Because, yeah, that makes sense that that wouldn't affect bosses. By the way, my damage is outrageous. Ugh! 
My tier rate is the opposite of outrage. Well, it's outrageous in the opposite direction. How about that? This damage feels good. Real good. Get slammed. Kerflam. I don't like that. Brownie, I really don't. It's not cool, bro. I don't like that he can propel enemies directly into your spawning location. But oh well. I have no power over it, so... <laughs> can't, can't change it. But we're almost done, Ski. I think I'll be okay. I think I can definitely beat the lamb just fine. Oh god, yeah. No, this is not even a problem at all. Okay, and blue ski. There we go. Easy peasy. Look at that. That was a nice, comfortable lamb run as Kane, which means, I believe Kane is, yeah, he's almost done with his post note. All I need is Mega Stand and then Kane is Dunskis. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, reminder, I believe, yeah, this is going up on Monday. So this will probably, I mean, almost certainly on Monday, today, I will be streaming uh, sometime after this video goes up. And probably for a few hours, so be sure to check that out. Uh, as always, the link to my stream and my Twitter are in the description. If you want to hang out, I don't know what I'll be playing yet. Uh, it might be Isaac, we'll see. But yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit. And I'll see you guys back again later today uh, with the stream if you're going to be there for that. And if not, the daily run. So, see you guys.